This is the Lost Operative mission. So you're going to Endor. Mm, we're looking for the Ewoks. As a Wookiee. I just got a good idea for a drinking game. But it's kind of like, dependent on us, how much we drink. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to explain this real quick. So this is what you have to do when you... Um, every once in a while when you're scanning for minerals, it'll say uh, anomaly found. And uh, you have to scan to find the source of the signal. Mm -hmm. And instead of the typical, instead of typically watching that kind of like um, EKG meter mm -hmm. on the right that like spikes over different kinds of minerals, there's a little white arrow right in the center of your crosshair that's pointing to where the signal's coming from. So if you follow that, eventually you get to the point where there's just a solid white dot on the map. You launch a probe and then it gives you the option to land. Oh. And uh, there's a couple missions that you can only find them that way just by exploring every planet. Like they won't show up through the story mm -hmm. or by talking to people, you just have to find them. Wow, that's crazy. So the drinking game is every time we reference Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica, or Norse mythology. Uh, I don't know. We take a, we take well, a every time you take the shuttle down to the planet. Is that very often? That's every mission, basically. Oh. But, you know, the like last mission was four or five videos. Mm -hmm. So, I think the Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, but that, that depends on us to make a lot of References. References. Which I think the we can do. Does frack count? Of course it does. That's a that's a BSG reference. Uh-oh. Too bad we don't have drinks in our hands. Oh. Well, we hadn't thought of a drinking game until now. That's true. On the next series of videos, we will. Um, so, this is not that hard of a mission. Basically, there are a bunch of dudes here that you have to kill. Okay, this sounds pretty crazy this so far. This sounds familiar. Um, you go into here. They, like it, As soon as you open that door, there's going to be a wave of dudes. And then there's going to be standard a... Standard fare. It is very standard. Um, a couple wall hacks, wall safes you can... Not wall hacks. I wish there was wall hacks in this game. That'd be fun. Well, I'm not playing the PC version, so what I can't. What are wall hacks? Uh, wall hacks are hacks for PC versions of like multiplayer games where you can see through walls. Oh. Like ha have you ever seen those? Yeah. I've I've never used one but I've seen like YouTube videos of people using them. They're pretty Show me that crazy. one video of Modern Warfare 2 on the PC mm -hmm. where the guy would just auto aim and like one shot kill everyone from mm -hmm. like any point in the map. Yeah. That's that's a little bit different because auto aims are like really fucking easy to pick up by like anti cheat things. Mm-hmm. Um, wall hacks. Oh, I know what I had. The map hack on StarCraft. Oh, yeah, I definitely <laughs> had a map hack on StarCraft. I, no, no, no. I never map hacked on StarCraft. I map hacked on Diablo 2. Oh. Um, and I used bots on Diablo 2 <laughs> to play the game for me when I was gone <laughs> and collect loot. Well, that's pretty fucking nerdy. Yeah, well, <laughs> we run a video game website. What do you expect? Um,. Uh. Where was I? Oh yeah, map uh, wall hacks are like what they do is they put outlines of uh, the enemy that appear through a wall. Hmm. So if there's a guy like hiding around the corner, you'll see him crouching and you'll see his silhouette, mm -hmm. like the white outline. And you're like shotgun to the face, bitch. Well, on games like Call of Duty or uh, Counter Strike, you can, shoot through walls. you can shoot through walls and you can just put a bolt through their fucking head. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, but but awesome. But, you know, no dedicated servers on Modern Warfare 2. Can't really do anything about that unless they're caught by the system. But if there's an, a moderator in-game, then they can get kicked pretty easy. Yeah. But, you know, that's why they took out dedicated servers, to make it more difficult. Or make it easier to cheat. Yeah. Um, anywho. We know how you feel about that stuff. This is a single-player game. Thank God. I don't talk about that anymore. I've already fucking talked about that a million times. Um, the map hack on StarCraft is probably like the craziest I ever got with PC shit. Cause you had to have it like open and running uh -huh. simultaneously as the game. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't really understand what I did. <laughs> Someone told you to run <laughs> yeah. this executable, and it could have been a virus that destroys your whole computer, but it let you cheat in StarCraft. Yeah, so. but it was Garrett, so I trusted him. Oh, good old Gary. Oh. But if there's anyone who's gonna be duped into installing a virus, it's Gary. <laughs> Oh man, when I was really, really good at StarCraft, um, Brian Park uh -huh. told me I was the best white guy he'd ever played with. 
which I took as what a great a, what compliment. A compliment. 